Hey friends and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be working on uh, a little ja uh, Japanese uh, black pine. But we're going to take a little walk out here and look at a couple trees. So here we have our elm tree, the one we just collected this year. You can see how nice it's growing. A lot of uh, leaves. And uh, this oak we collected this year as well. You can see how nice it's growing. And we have our Scots pine, the one uh, you guys saw in the video. We have our uh, Savage Pine, or Jack's Pine. And nice uh, lace leaf. Maple. So, I was thinking on working on uh, the little uh, Black Pine, the one I got uh, the other day. Uh, the one that we bent up. And... Uh, really want to keep it into a, a little like a shoheen size uh, tree so uh, today here in the Midwest in Illinois is uh, the time uh, to be working on uh, the two flush pines so uh, like the red pine and uh, the black pine if you're gonna work on them uh, if you're gonna cut the needles back it's gonna be uh, in June like June 1st uh, around this time so usually I would do it June 1st uh, that's like my time that I would do it uh, cut the needles back so uh, yeah that's what we're gonna be doing today it's super hot out it's like freaking 90 degrees out today uh, so but we're here in the garage and uh, gonna work on uh, this tree so I'm just gonna set you guys to the side here and uh we'll start working the only thing it's not nothing too hard uh like i said you work on this tree around uh beginning of june so the only thing you really have to do is just cut the uh, cut the needles or not the needles the buds or the candles back so uh if you want that second flush to uh produce you wanna you're gonna cut the uh, the bud's back. So that's what we're going to do today. Alrighty, so uh, we're not going to make this difficult at all. Um, what we're going to do is just come in here and just cut the needles. We're going to cut them uh, cut them all at once. So you're going to come and cut right at the base here. Just like that. Just like that. Alrighty, so now the second flush should come up uh, in about June and July. You'll start seeing them in July. So, yeah, that's it. So the first time you do it, you're going to be kind of like all worried, but uh, yeah, you get used to it after a while. So, that's what you do on the black pines here. So, uh, we cut the needles back. You could see the, the back budding from before. But, uh, we cut the needles, uh, so we, ha uh, so we get, uh, smaller needles and smaller internodes. 
uh, that's why we do it so I'll show you guys on on some of my bigger trees my black pine and red pine uh, but that's just what you do I want to show you guys on this little tree hey friends so I got this uh, juniper in here uh, that I'm gonna work on This part up on top of the apex, on the apex up here. Uh, I don't like this like handlebar look up here. I know I got it down here too, but I'll make an exception to that till later on, but. We'll leave that alone for right now until we figure out what we want to do with it later. But I'm going to work on these pads a little bit and uh, thin them out. So I'm going to cut anything on the bottom of this pad right here. I don't know if you guys watched uh, Peter Warren's... Uh, Uh, video on uh, junipers but that was really that was really good I learned so much from that all of his uh, videos have been so good I go, I'll sit there I could watch them for hours his uh talks uh, about fertilizer as well and that was really helpful so I'm just cutting back uh, I'm not cutting here, let me grab a little piece here. Uh, you know, when you cut back, you want to cut back to a spot. You don't want to cut halfway like that. You want to cut it all the way back. You know, this tree is really photo uh, photosynthesizing, photosynthesizing. Uh, So you want to be careful with what you cut off. You want to cut off uh, mostly the ones that are not. You don't want to be cutting uh, the ones that are off. So you just want to be careful. So also when you look underneath the tree, you want to be able to see those nice uh, like branches come up. And then you want the, the foliage to just sit, sit up top. So, if you guys could see that, you want to keep that hardwood on the bottom.
So you could see this foliage isn't doing doing anything. So I'm going to put you guys on time lapse. I'm not really saying much. I really don't. It's so hot out here. Maybe I'll just wait till uh, tonight and I'll finish, uh, finish this up. All right, so we're back. Uh, so I finished up this one right here, this pad. So what I'm going to do is... Just do this one up top over here. Clean this one up. Bring this down a little bit and bring you guys down. I want the tree to be flat on the ground so we could see exactly what we want to take off. So all these growing on the bottom right here, I want to take off. So doing a little at a time is uh, is good with your trees. You don't want to be taking too much off, otherwise you will uh, resort to juvenile foliage. And you want to have patience with your trees.
So. Uh, it should be good right there. So what I'm going to do is put you guys on uh, time lapse and uh, get going on this tree. So on this pad over here, uh, on the bottom, there's nothing, nothing growing on the bottom of this here. All this stuff is uh, is not photosynthesizing right now. So what we're gonna do is come in here and just take that off. That's pretty much it for this tree. Cleaned it up as uh, best as I could. Uh, didn't want to, uh, you don't want to take off too much. Uh, but little at a time uh, does the job. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, And uh, I got another one I got to do. So that one's going to be a little bit more harder. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.